This is a true story. A few years ago, I fell down and I hurt my ankle really badly. Like, I had to call my mom and say, can you pick me up from my apartment because I can't even walk. And so she picked me up, took me back to my parents' house. And when I was there, she gave me this medicine, this thing I was supposed to rub on my ankle. And it was this ointment that she had used on me when I was a kid and I got hurt. She would rub it on me. It smelled really nice. And I remember it was like after she put that on me, I felt a lot better. And so here I was. I was much older. But now she was rubbing this thing on my ankle and I'm thinking, oh, this smells nice. This is going to help me. And I'm looking at the bottle and it said on there, homeopathic. That word was in that on the label somewhere. And now I knew what that word meant. It basically meant that there was nothing in this ointment that was actually going to make me feel better. Nothing. It was all in my head. It had always been in my head. But my mom genuinely believed it was going to help me. And for the longest time, so did I. This sort of medicine exists for everything. Headaches, arthritis, even ADHD. And it's all fake. Here's how homeopathy works. They take a supposed active ingredient, like a mineral or an herb, and then they mix it into a lot of water and they stir the thing. And then they take that mixture and take a little bit of it and put it into even more water and mix it. And then they take a little bit of that and put it in even more water and they keep doing this. Eventually, the ratio of that actual ingredient to the water is like a raindrop compared to all the oceans in the world. It's nothing. It's not enough to have an impact on you. In fact, the more diluted it is, the more useless it is. Some homeopaths will tell you that the water has a memory of the active ingredient, as if it affects all the water that it touches, which is just not true. Have you ever been to the beach and you see a kid like a mile away peeing in the water and you're like, oh, that's disgusting. I'm glad it's happening over there because it won't affect me over here. Now imagine just one drop of that and homeopaths are saying it doesn't matter if it happens a mile away. It's totally going to infest the water that you're in. Get it? It just doesn't work that way. Now, the people who sell this medicine to you, they make it look real. I mean, the packaging is really nice. The bottles look legitimate. The pills look like they're real pills. But it's just a placebo. A very expensive placebo, by the way. People in the U.S. spend about $3 billion a year on this fake medicine. Now, why do they buy it? Well, sometimes it's cheaper than real medicine. And people who take it will tell you, they swear to you, that it totally works. Because they don't understand science and they believe anecdotes over evidence. You could literally swallow a whole bottle of homeopathic sleeping pills and you would be okay. People have actually done this as a demonstration of how useless this medicine is. Uh, you could try it yourself and you would see nothing would happen to you. Just make sure that it's actually homeopathic, otherwise you're in for a world of trouble. Now, maybe you're thinking, who cares? If it makes you feel better, even in your head, isn't that the point? Isn't that okay? So why is this such a big deal? The problem is that there are so many people out there who use homeopathic medicine instead of going to a real doctor and getting real medicine that could actually help them. You know, my ankle was gonna get better over time, but what if the problem was a lot more serious? If you're taking homeopathic medicine for an infection or cancer, or swine flu, yeah, that actually happened, you're making the problem much worse. And you're putting yourself in danger by not getting real help. You may be putting other people in danger, and you're throwing your money away too. Walgreens and CVS sell these medicines, by the way, even though they don't actually help. There have been people who started online petitions to get them to take this stuff off their shelves, but it hasn't worked. You should know better, though. So if, if you see this stuff, don't use it. And if you see anyone using this stuff, try telling them it's bullshit. Not that telling them will actually do anything. When I pointed out to my mom that this medicine was homeopathic and it wasn't actually going to do anything, she just told me to shut up and keep rubbing it on my ankle. But at least I know not to take this stuff seriously anymore.
My name is Hemant Mehta and I write at FriendlyAtheist.com. What do you want to see a video about? Let us know in the comments below and we'll be sure to check it out. And don't forget to subscribe.